I'm Carol Lander with the Nicholson Clinic and right now we're going to make a wonderful mango chutney that you can use as a side dish for chicken or fish and it's only 90 calories for a serving size so this will be a wonderful addition to your cooking repertoire. We're going to start with a mango, it's a tropical fruit and there's a little bit of a trick to cutting in a mango. There's a pit that goes right down the middle so you want to take your chef's knife and go right down the side Turn it around and go down the other side. Okay. Sometimes you can get a little bit off of the, the two narrow sides. Okay. When you buy a mango, make sure that you buy it a couple of days ahead of when you need it because they do have to soften and ripen up. Now, to cut this into a dice, I'm going to hold it in my hand and just using a utility knife, make a grid. This is the same way that we cut into an avocado. And then just kind of turn it inside out. And now back to my chef's knife, put it on your cutting board and go underneath parallel to your board. And you have your mango. Mango's a great summer fruit and it makes a wonderful chutney. Okay. Plastic scrapers are also your friend for helping you to transfer food from your cutting board to another position. Okay. So we have one mango. Now I've already combined some brown sugar, some red um, onion, some raisins, a little bit of garlic, and some pecans. And we're going to add that. It also has a little bit of mace and a little bit of brown cloves in there. And then we are going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, almost a tablespoon, maybe, maybe just a little bit. This gives it some kick, some acidity. And then to give it a little bit of heat, a jalapeno. I'm going to show you how to cut a jalapeno. Okay? You want to cut off the end so you have a flat bottom on your jalapeno. You can use a chef's knife, but I think I'll use my utility knife. Hold it tightly and go straight down the sides. Turn it. Keep turning. And you've left your seeds and all the pith inside. So now I can finally chop my jalapeno. Most of the heat is in the membrane, so we don't want it too hot. I'm going to cut out some of that white membrane. Does everyone like jalapeno? Yes. So we're just going to finely chop that. So get that a little bit of a stir and turn up the heat. And we're just going to let this cook down until our mango is soft and the flavors have blended. Um, you're, you're really wanting the mango to get soft. That's what you're looking for. And then we're going to strain it through a strainer and then whatever liquid is left, we're going to reduce that a little bit and then add the solids back in. Um, obviously, the things like the raisins, the, um, the mango, um, even the onion is going to give, and the sugar, the brown sugar is going to give off some moisture. One of the essential ingredients that we want to add to our chutney is some lemon juice and some lemon zest. Acidity always is punch and flavor to any dish. So in order to get my zest, I'm going to use a tool called a microplane. This is a wonderful tool for zesting any kind of citrus for uh, grating hard cheeses, for grating ginger, for grating nutmeg. It's just an indispensable little tool in the kitchen. So I just hold my lemon uh, in one hand and I pretend I'm playing a violin. Okay. What this does is get the um, zest on the outside of the lemon and allows us not to get any kind of uh, bitter white pith. Okay, so 
I'm just going to put that lemon zest in our chutney. And now with the two halves. Now, so, and I'm going to cut my lemon in half, put it in the juicer, and you can just put the juice right in there. Okay. We're going to use a whole lemon. That's really just about a tablespoon. Just give that a stir. And we're just going to let this simmer until the mango gets soft and our flavors are blended. And that's how you make mango chutney. <laughs>